A very good evening to you and welcome to a huge night of heavyweight boxing. In the red corner, the dominant force of the heavyweight field over the last decade. In the blue corner, a real-life Rocky daring to dream big of becoming world champion and landing the biggest prize in boxing. And what a cracking night we've got on our hands. Can there be an upset? Joining me in the studio are a fantastic guest. We've got the man that doesn't need an introduction, the undefeated Tyson Fury. And of course, Steve Collins, former WBO middleweight and super middleweight champion. Tyson, it's a fantastic night that we're looking forward to tonight. There's been a great build-up uh, this week and it's your division you were looking forward to. What do you think is giving Katie the edge? Is it her technical ability, how fast she is, how fit she is? I think it's just a great footwork she has, great hand speed, and also she puts punches together really well. I mean, she throws great combinations and she's got a good eye. Um, I feel in the first round, she seemed a little bit nervous. In the second, third, fourth, that's when she upped the game and she got the points up. We have the medal ceremony for Nicola Adams in just a moment. So a quick word on Nicola, because she boxed beautifully. Definitely. Nicola put a great performance on. She won the first, medal for, uh, first gold medal for Britain. And, um, you know, what a great performance she had on. She's got great footwork and she's got a very you know, very bright future in front of her. What do you think this can do to women's boxing coming forward now? We've seen such incredible talent and such incredible competition and, here. Uh, Klitschko's a clever man. T Tyson, <laughs> you smile every time I look. You, the excitement which you said that you're going to bring to the ring and you said that what Vladimir Klitschko does is pretty much blueprint. He does the same thing over and over again. So what could you do in the ring against him and what excitement could you bring because you said you were sat here you know what it is? It's um, it's difficult to say. It's easy for me to say, sat here. I'm down here ringside with David Hay. David, old rival, friend, I suppose. You shook his hand when he got in the ring. You were here when Audie Harrison won in 2009, the prize fighter, and also obviously met him in the ring in 2010. What can you expect from him tonight? Well, he's a defending champion, kind of, you know. Last time I saw him, he won this tournament. Two gold medalists with me, Anthony Joshua and Luke Campbell. Anthony, it's very similar to amateur boxing, I suppose, and you have to be quick off the mark in prize fighter. What are your thoughts so far? Well, uh, as you said, you've got to be quick off the mark, and uh, we're seeing knockout after knockout, so it's really entertaining for me and I'm sure it's entertaining for the other viewers. And Luke is your first prize fighter as well. Who do you think is going to win? Put you on the spot. He's also said that he wants money and fame. Is that the sort of attitude he brings here tonight? No, he doesn't. Um, Ian is a really intelligent bloke. He's just someone who sometimes he'll sort of like speak what's on his mind. Say to me, you box, box. And it's like, no, box. And I have to go through the whole rigmarole over and over again. And these girls felt so intimidated to go into a boxing gym, but they wanted to box. And what the Olympics showed was that women can box and that they have the confidence to walk into a gym and say, I'm here as a boxer. These are the kind of fights we want, real so, fights. Because we want real fights, we want to bring you into the mix, Tyson, and we want some action like we do enjoy in this country. Do you want to call Klitschko out? Listen, if you do, I've camera called him out straight in front of you. a bazillion times now. Vladimir, I'm coming for well, you. There's a lot of fighters out there who can't fight, who are just not educated. But why? He had a, he had a because training Because his trainers and his coaches... But what was he doing on the training well, camp? It's, it's, he had it's, a 16-week camp? Well, yeah, what he's doing is he's listening to what he's being told. It's con I listen to what his corner told him. What is they, he being told? He's been told nothing. What they're telling him is ridiculous, saying, walk the man down. Klitschko didn't knock me out. That was That's a super good uh, good expression. And then Alexander Povetkin, well, he didn't do much at all, apart from hugged him all night. You know, mentioning no names. Mentioning so, no names. after the break, we'll be talking Alex Leopai <laughs> and whether he can add his name to the list of recent heavyweight underdogs, one of whom upset a certain Vladimir Klitschko some 10 years ago.